Okay. Good. Um, with the rubber bands for the helicopters, your best bet, can you hold this, Grant? Sure. Got to hold it up there. Is to double the rubber band over. This will allow you, these take a lot of power, so we recommend doubling your rubber band over so you have two loops like that. This is one rubber band that's been doubled over into two loops, okay? Now, you make, make your loop at the end like this, put it over the hook, pull it tight, and then let it slide down onto the, the hook onto the rotor like that, okay? I recommend making sure your knot is at the end because if it's in the middle, it can catch on the sides and catch on the, uh, the support beam that goes across the end. For winding, what you want to do is you hook your band onto the, the winder like so and pull the knot so it's just barely on the side. You want about three or four millimeters on the side there. Okay? Grant, you got that good? Yeah. Okay. Pull the rubber band out. Grant's keeping his hand around the rubber band so if it breaks, it doesn't punch a hole in the, in the rotor blades. Okay? You want to stretch this out because it allows the winds to be more even as you, as you wind your rubber band. So you start your winds, make sure you're counting. Um, the way I recommend counting is you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you and your partner both say the ten digit. So, Grant and I will practice that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 20. Um, this makes sure that you're both counting and one is counting out loud, so that's good there. I'm going to put a few more wands in it, and then we're going to demo this flight for you here. Knowing how many wands to put in your rubber band comes from practice and feel. Um, you should be able to feel um, how many rubber bands you have, how many wands you have left after you've broken one or two. Now, you can see my knot is right here. The reason I moved that down from the end a little bit, so I can pinch the knot and allow my winds to come out of that, that small segment at the end um, until there are no winds left in it. And then I'll stretch it out, and it gives a hole large enough for you to slide it onto your pin. Um, a lot of folks use washers, rubber, rubber O-rings on the end of the rubber band to make them easier to put on. That's fine, but it adds a little bit of weight. If you're looking to maximize your rubber band length and therefore your rubber band endurance time, um, that's the way to go. Now, the point on the top is um, just a, balsa, a piece of balsa wood that the end has been filed to a point. We have this on there so when your, um, your helicopter gets to the ceiling, it will, the, the point will hit the ceiling and stop and hold the helicopter in place so that the rotors do not hit the um, ceiling and cause it to drop. Ready? Mm -hmm. Rotor on the bottom is broken, that was the issue. I was flying horribly. Mm -hmm.